Do our emotions erase our memories or do they make them stick? So imagine in your classroom where emotion is front and center and it shapes memory retention and the impact that it could have on all your students every single lesson. So question, why do emotions dictate learning? Why do some memories stick and why do some of our memories fade? We want all lessons that resonate, not just ones that evaporate from boredom, you know, in, our, in ourselves as well as our students. We all seek memories that stick, not slip away. And we should all be aiming for our students to understand the material, not just remember the information. So teaching without knowledge or cognition, still, I still find it quite new for me, despite 30 years in education, is like guessing in the dark. And I think for the first 15 years of my career, before I really got immersed with newer education, I was guessing in the dark. I still find it incredible that we're still scratching the surface with working memory and cognitive load. I guess it's something that we all go on as part of our own journey. Emotions in class helps memories that last. So click the link and dive into the research on retrieval induced forgetting and understand that positive and negative emotions can shape our memory and also how we forget.